Jeff Ismail with IH Parts America. I'm Mike Moore with Scout Co. I'm John Glancy. I'm Sean Barber, and you're watching The Great American Build-Off. Right here on Binder TV. Today on The Great American Build-Off, after countless hours of planning and hard work and a lot of blood, sweat, and tears by our teams, it's finally time to award this year's big winner as the champion in The Great American Build-Off. The Great American Build-Off is brought to you in part by Honest Speed Shop, Old Iron Off-Road, Schneider Racing Cams, Scout Lightline Distributors, and Bushwhacker Fender Flare. Hey guys, I'm Kendra Summer with the Great American Build-Off. It's finally come down to this, and we're gonna find out who's gonna take home this trophy. This is the award our teams have come to Troy, Ohio in hopes of claiming. But these rolling works of art are more than just entries in a competition. They also serve as build inspirations for the International Harvester Faithfuls at this year's IH Scout and All Truck Nationals. It's so nice to have the vehicle sitting there and people can go get ideas from them or get inspiration from what's there and go on home and, and be all fired up and charged up about their vehicle and what to do with it. For Scout Co. owners Mike and Jennifer Moore, the competition not only showcases their skill set, it also gives these two-time build-off winners a chance to study the wide variety of approaches used by everyone here. I think when you stop getting new ideas and changing the way you do things, something's wrong. That's one of the biggest things we like to do is look at, at things and it doesn't matter if it's another, another person in the build-off or if it's just an individual that built it in their garage. It's awesome to see the way things are done, the little neat things that people do that are different. Even though his team ran out of time and was unable to finish the build they had started for the competition, anything scout owner Sean Barber brought one of his custom scout builds he had done for the SEMA show because he feels strongly about encouraging new builds and the IH family as a whole. We want to help educate, inspire, connect people, tell our story and include people in on that story so that it inspires them to get out and build memories with their families and seeing like local communities and hubs of particularly scout owners popping up is just, that's, that's awesome. John Glancy's Super Scout Specialist had taken on a project with the most interest, a rare Midas Edition Scout 2, but with the demands of a new location and his build leader dropping out due to health issues, this somewhat faithful restoration will finally be completed and ready for next year's build off. Because it's gonna be sort of a modified stock combination, we're not gonna go as radical as them and try to keep tribute to the originality of, of the Midas package. For the IH Parts America team led by Jeff Ismail, this event marked the culmination of 13 years of work on their highly modified and customized travelogue. And although it's a radically different vehicle from the scout entries, Jeff sizes up his competition and acknowledges the winner is way too close to call. Really nice craftsmanship. Uh, definitely different direction than we went, you know, where you have a couple scouts versus our travel all. So it's definitely the travel all versus scout. We'll see where the people end up at. Each build was unique and, and went a little bit different direction. So that's kind of cool not to see the same old thing over and over. At the end of the event, over a hundred awards were handed out, all capped off with the awarding of the most coveted prize. Great American build off challenge. Uh, this is tough, man. But the, uh, the winner is right there. IHPA. It's always inspiring coming out here and seeing all the different things people put together. And we definitely still pick up ideas, you know? I mean, although we're creative, everyone's creative with their own ways. And, you know, you walk up and to a lot of people, you know, if I come up and say, hey, that's pretty cool, that's a great idea. They're like, oh, I appreciate the compliment. Man, just given what's deserved, you know? I mean, that's thinking out of the box. We want to preserve these vehicles for the younger generations and uh, make sure that future generations can enjoy them. I guess the next 30 years is about preserving the marquee. It's about making people happy and uh, letting them share their love for the vehicles with other people. I'm Kendra Summer. Thanks for watching. And to find out more about all the shops and projects, head on over to BinderTV.com. For Pete's sakes, Kendra.